I think every leader uh, needs to possess humility uh, because, and it's not easy because as a leader you've been elected or selected to be in charge and partially because of your personality of being able to get ideas across or charisma or any uh, ideas that have come over and yet at the same time you don't have all the answers and therefore I think having humility, genuine humility, not pretend humility, I think is a very important characteristic. I think uh, a mistake that I see leaders making frequently is making decisions uh, that are not based on enough information. Um, given the kind of rapidity of news uh, that comes in or the necessity of making decisions um, is kind of an action forcing mechanism. On the other hand, if you make decisions without having the right amount of information, you're more likely to make dis bad decisions. And I have a, a, a special rule of my own, which is the first information that comes in is usually wrong. And so I do think it's a matter of uh, pausing enough to, to get the, the collection of information and then also being willing to listen to a lot of diverse ideas so that you can deal with um, the fact that people that are advising you have very different opinions. Well, um, I think the, the person that impacted my political life more than anybody else was Ed Musk. Uh, he was the presidential candidate in 19, well, vice presidential candidate in 1968, and then um, in 72 he was. And then I went to work for him as his chief legislative assistant. And it was at a time when um, the budget process had just come in. Um, he was somebody that was incredibly fair. Uh, he was known as the conscience of the Senate. But he also taught me the importance of bipartisanship because as he started the whole budget process, uh, he made very clear to all of us who worked for him that we had to be partners with Senator Henry Bellman of Oklahoma, who was a Republican. So any number of different aspects. And he was very proud to be a politician. Uh, he would say over and over again that I want to be a politician. Uh, politics is how people uh, converse with each other in a democratic system. So I think of the various political figures that I've been associated with. Uh, I think Ed Muskie would be the one. I think that um, obviously educational institutions have a major role in uh, educating the leadership, but I think the variety of subjects that are offered, the kind of thoughtfulness that the professors require, the uh, exchange of information, the respect for people's uh, ideas, uh, and the fact that, that it takes a lot of different uh, disciplines and knowledge to understand what is going on in, in the 21st century in order to build the kind of leaders we've been talking about.